25 million people continue to be exposed to asbestos in the workplace. So there's a big cost to you in using asbestos in dollars and lives. Research that goes into these decisions has to be directed by independent, unconflicted scientists. It's not something that just affects workers, it affects everyone. Saving one life is great, but saving many more is what I hope to accomplish. Making a profit off of people's pain and lives is wrong. We can't quit, not as long as there are hundreds of thousands of people still to be diagnosed. Ban the asbestos once and for all. Uh, before we start, the, I just want to run through a couple things. Please put your hands together and thank uh, Motley Rice for brunch. And Jan, we'd like to invite you to come up and say a few words. Um, on behalf of Motley Rice, we are so honored to be a part of this organization, this fantastic organization that does so much for so many people who really need some sort of direction and want to use their energies and their abilities to help people who have been affected by asbestos diseases. And it's a two-way street, you know, Linda and everyone. While we give, we also receive. And while you all give, there are the people that are out there in the public that also receive. I don't normally go on Facebook. I don't know why. I guess being an introvert, it's just not my thing to post everything that I'm doing. But I can tell you that the use of social media, especially for organizations like this, is really really vitally important. And if you can continue reaching out and reach friends, family, people you meet in airports or bus stops, whatever, it will help spread the word because we do need to ban asbestos now. And on behalf of Motley Rice, on behalf of this organization, thank you. Thank you.